Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a few different salon services that you guys can do at home. Super affordable and really easy, especially for beginners. I know it can be kind of scary because you don't want to mess up. You also don't want to take your eyebrow off or stain your forehead with color. But if I your back. I'm going to show you step by step how I take care of my color, how I do my nails, and also wax my mustache. Now before we get into this video, don't forget to like, share this video with someone with a mustache. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I don't want you to get into a fight. Subscribe to my channel if you have yet to join my family and let's get into it. You all know that I love Garnier and I've been partnering with them for literally years. I recently shared on Instagram step-by-step step how to color my hair and today I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your color. This is the Garnier New Trees Color Reviver in Rich Black. This mask is formulated to, number one of course, condition your hair with avocado oil and then you're also adding pure pigments to the hair to help to enhance and enrich the color that you've got. You're gonna start by shampooing and rinsing the hair before you apply. You're gonna spread it evenly throughout damp hair and then you're gonna wash your hands thoroughly. You can see my hands are not black and my nails are super light and they're not stained so you're gonna be good. And I just love the transformation. My hair feels amazing afterwards. This product is available in tons of different shades at CVS or I'll put a link in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out. Just make it easier for you guys to shop or to locate a CVS that's in your neighborhood. Next up is my nails and if you guys have been following me for some time you know I really get down on my nails like I want to say like every other day or every three days because I have a nail biting problem so that's why I have so much practice. The only skill you really need to have is knowing how to paint your nails. So if you know how to paint your nails you're good. I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to get long, strong nails that look like one of your favorite salon services that can be really expensive. One of my girlfriends was paying over $100 for her nails. I'm like, what? What the heck are they doing to your nails? Like, that's insane to me. First step is going to be cutting down your nails, cutting down the cuticles, getting them nice and prepped for um, the dip process. You don't wanna have old nail polish, oils, dirt, the Lord knows what else. Girl, wash your hands. Next, we're gonna add nail tips, and you can skip this part if you already have long, luscious nails. I personally do not. My nails keep breaking. Well, they find themselves in my mouth. I'm always by, never mind. Cut them down to the length that's desired and shape them the most that you can because this will really help in the process to come. Next is gonna be the dip process, and it's as easy as it sounds. You're literally going to dip your nails into the powder and pull it out, dust it off, and literally it looks like acrylic nails. It's very crucial that I let you guys know you're gonna do one nail at a time because if you try to paint the base on all your nails and then dip them into the powder, it's going to dry and none of the powder is actually gonna get stuck to that base. It smells similar to like super glue, it's very strong, so you're gonna paint it on and then you're gonna dip it directly into a pot of powder, pull it out, making sure that there is no wet spots. If there is, dip it right back in because you probably took it out too quickly, and then you're going to dust it off. After you've used the activator, it's going to harden the nails, then you're going to be able to buff them, then add your top coat, or you're going to add your color and then your top coat. So hopefully that wasn't confusing. I'll make sure to put the steps in the description box below, or you guys can just rewatch this video. Again, this is perfect for beginners. Anybody can do this, I promise, I promise, I promise. So let me know how this goes. Next up is going to be waxing. This is a whole other territory, okay? This is something that I definitely like to do here at home because, I mean, nowadays, we really don't want people to be this close to our face, right? And if you've got a little handlebar that just won't stop growing, girl, this is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna deal with at home alone, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really easy, I'm not saying that it feels good because it's wax, it's... I do suggest getting really thin waxing sticks and waxing strips. The way that you can mess this up really quickly is by pressing or rubbing the strip while you put the wax down because it will migrate up or migrate down and you're going to take off more hair than you want. You're always going to want to start with a clean base, no makeup, no nothing, but if you are new to this, I suggest painting in your eyebrows, just your eyebrows, no foundation or anything like that, 
just your eyebrows to, to see where you need to remove hair. So you're gonna follow along your eyebrows with the wax, place down your strip, and then rip that sucker off. Count to three, one, two, three, and take it off. I've tried to wax my own armpits before, and I counted to like 157. The way to move, remove it, if that ever happens to you, and you just can't get it off because you're scared or you probably put too much wax, oil will get that thing off eventually. Your girl has a whole beard growing, all right? I mean, my hair's not thick. It's just really dark peach fuzz, all right? I know I'm not the only... I'm not the only one. I think it's a Latina in me. I just, I just have fur everywhere. I also do my own, I think it's called Dermaplane. It's pretty much removing the peach fuzz off of your face. Also removing dead skin cells. Blech. I know it sounds gross, but for real. And that's why my skin looks so like, ow. And that's it for today's video. If you guys have any other suggestions for a salon, um, services here at home. Let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll do like a part two to this video. Again, thank you so much to Garnier for sponsoring me for years and I clearly use their products even when I am not sponsored, you guys. I mean, I literally have been using the same color for years. I want to say I've been using Garnier for over seven years to color my gray and that's the biggest issue that I have is just my gray hair is ferocious in this area. When I have my hair up like this, I'm feeling real confident, real cute. And I just love brands like Garnier because um, they trust me and believe in me to, you know, speak on the behalf of their product and their brand. So thank you so much to Garnier. If you guys have the time, please leave some green hearts in the comments below. Um, it just shows them that you guys support me as well, and I see that, obviously, because I respond to your guys' comments. So thank you, thank you again so much for hanging out with me today and getting this far into the video. Take care, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.